hi guys welcome back to my channel i am princess of aesthetically princess and today is a quick video of my bi-monthly favorites why is it bi-monthly because i don't do enough stuff in a single month to give you monthly favorites so we go bi-monthly look at that every other month you get a favorites video you should be proud of yourself hard working this so it's now the month of it's still the month of March the day that I'm posting this but it is coming up on the month of April which I'm actually really really excited for the reason why I'm so excited is because that means March is almost over we're four months in and I'm so ready for 2020 to be over now within this extreme amount of pandemic and sadness and pain I have been stuck in my house for a very long time today we're talking about favorites of things that I have done bought or found that I just have been like yes this is making my life so much better easier more exciting I guess I don't know but let's get to the video so first things first on this list is this so as you can tell my hair is straightened I got bored and straightened it one day and this was of large help this is a Foxy Bay marble rose gold marble flat iron it's like 200 dollars. i got it randomly and i've used it once my family members have used it several times i as you know have natural hair my family though my mom and my sister wear wigs and they love my flat iron i adore it for working on my natural hair because this has been like this for like three days she's been holding up pretty well it took me about an hour to straighten my hair sometimes it takes up to three hours but today this is the one time I used this it took this is also the first time I'm using this so it took me about like an hour to straighten my hair all of it <laughs> from like root to tip um, it's getting frizzier but that but a lot of the volume of this is from this also a Foxy Bay product my sister uses this all the time for her wigs it is a beach it says beach beach please sea salt texturizing spray also from foxy bay i have used foxy bay products before and i do enjoy them they're really good um 10 out of 10 would recommend you to use them i need more foxy bay products i need like a whole bunch of stuff i want to buy like a bunch of their um their tools because they have a straightening brush as well and i really want their straightening brush and if i do get their straightening brush we're doing a straighten my hair with me 2020 that, that will be a video boo 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 but I had so much fun actually re straightening my hair. It made it like a lot, so much easier. Number two on my list is something that I don't have with me, but it's smoothies. I've been stuck in my house and we have a bunch, a bunch, just a bunch of frozen fruit in the house. So I was like, ooh, what would it be to get a smoothie? So I've been drinking smoothies like almost every day. I have not drank one today because my family is asleep. The house is full. My family is asleep. And I am not about to turn on the Ginomix Vitamix because we have the, the three in one Vitamix, the one that comes with like the Nutribullet thing and then the um food processor and then the big blender i love just the neutral bullet thing it just works so well for me i just drink it all it tastes nice i have some doles blends some mixed berry blends some strawberries i throw an orange in there i need my vitamin c i am vitamin c deficient <laughs> i love that for me but um it's nothing crazy but like it is really nice though stuff all over my lips i hate it i hate this here i hate it here when you go outside that's a lie i'm not ready to go outside like at all speaking of why i'm not ready to go outside like at all my switch and you're probably thinking oh so you play animal crossing no actually i don't own animal crossing like at all this is just i the games that i play on here are paladins which i'm pretty okay with paladins and Chris, which is a indie game, which I love both of them. They're very much very fun. I use I play them a lot because my family I try and steal the Switch. My I have two little brothers, so they've been playing on the Switch the entire time that they've been home. So I try and steal the Switch when I can. And when you wake up at like ten o'clock in the morning, you can easily go snatch snatch before they get to Fortnite. Cause that's all that's one of my brothers plays Fortnite Fortnite all day. The other one plays Mario Kart Deluxe all day, so life is hard the next thing is this actual card holder now it looks really weird and kind of floppy and like useless but it actually changes colors in the sunlight and because I am not outside wait 
sunlight. So this is the sun turned with the sunlight. This is the side that's regular. If you put it in like UV rays, it changes color. So I just shoved it in the sunlight really quickly right next to my window, so it's not too hard. The reason why you can't get much sunlight in my room is because I have this big old bush staring me in my face. So I don't get much sunlight. <laughs> but this is really cute. You can shove two cards in here and some other stuff. And I love it. It's like $28, but it's from this girl that I really, really love, Shami Ocean. I'm going to leave her link down below. You should really check her out. Next thing is I got my mom a present. It's this necklace. I think I talked about it in my woman well, female owned businesses that I love and I recently bought this necklace and it's on the way and it's so cute it it was on the way in the video but it's here now and my mom loves it it's just giant there's this beautiful butterfly hanging on and it's like gold with little diamond detailing but since we're at home she has not she has yet to wear it and it's kind of too cute not to be worn already so I'm a little upset because I will wear it I will steal it if I need to but it was a present for her so I didn't want to take it next thing's next anklets I don't know if I've said this before but I used to love anklets I used to wear them all the time and I stopped you stop wearing them after we've moved to the house that we are currently in because I was not there <laughs> to help move my stuff I was three hours away for four days um, on a trip for, for school so when we moved during school hours I was just not there so I lost all of my anklets in the move <laughs> they also broke the TV and um, busted a wall so i got new anklets i have this it's an anklet off amazon um it came with two it was like 10 bucks for this one and a gold one i have the hardest thing about this anklet though is that i have really i'm really tiny so i have small hands <clears throat> this is the size of my hands i also have small ankles so this is looks like this it looks like a regular anklet and it hits about here and i have to put it on the last one but it's actually slightly too big for my ankle. I really need form-fitting ones, but I have not been able to find one. I was like, oh my gosh, handmade, cool. Family-owned business, cool. Somebody's hand-making these, cool. No one makes anklets, and it makes me very, very sad. Um, but I got me some anklets. I usually wear them like with the rest of my jewelry because I really love jewelry, so I have like a gold one that and a silver one that goes with all of my jewelry so I have all of my necklaces my anklet my rings and my earrings when I leave the house and it makes me very happy and very enjoyable very enjoyable so I'm gonna quickly talk about shows and I'm gonna do like my top three because I have another video that I'm going to be posting that is like shows and movies to watch while in quarantine <laughs> so that movie will probably be up this Friday um not movie that video will probably be up this Friday and I'm actually pretty excited about that one so my first top three movies that I've been watching in this time period. Number one, My Hollow Lover was so cute. It's a limited time series on Netflix, so I don't know if it's still up or not. <laughs> I'm not too lazy to check, but I did really enjoy it. It was really cute. Um, number two is Tharn Type. I know Tharn Type did not come out this month. It came out like last year, but I just watched it this month because I just have so much time on my hands that I was able to watch it and I really did enjoy it. So 10 out of 10 would recommend that one. And finally, um, I'm going to have to recommend Itaewon Class. I know everyone's been like, Itaewon Class? Everybody watches Itaewon Class. It's really good. You should 10 out of 10 walk it, watch it unless you have a problem with like, you know, capitalism. And yeah, if you have a problem with capitalism and like all the rich people being, being rich and jackasses, you feel sorry about for a bunch of the characters by the end of it. Like you're just like, wow, y'all went through a lot for no reason. <laughs> just for no reason. Like y'all just went through the most real stupid stupidish but those are my top three like i said i'll be talking about more on friday so stay tuned follow me you know subscribe or whatever if you really really want to um if you ever have any videos that you want to see me do also request those in the comments below um next thing is a game that i did it's a phone game it's called township i have been really into this game for like a year or so but like recently i have been really really into it because i have all the time in the world <laughs> and with the fact that my family is home which means i don't have to babysit my little brother i just be in my room all day like there's no joke let's be like laying in my bed all day like i don't have any problems with that but like that's all i do so that's all i play uh, but i did really enjoy playing township it's just really cool like farming game 10 out of 10 would recommend uh next on this list is 
these buttons. These are Nike. These are just the white Nikes. These aren't Air Forces, but pretty gosh darn close. Um, these are like brand spanking new. I have not even worn them in all the way, but the one time I did wear them, I thought it was too cute. I have a pair of white Converse that I lost to my sister because um, I let her borrow them once and they came back with this ginormous black spot on the front of them. But we both now have Air Force One like shoes. These aren't the Air Force Ones. I don't have a problem with not having the Air Force Ones because the shoe that I really wanted was just, I couldn't get that shoe so I just had this one. But I do actually like this. It's very comfortable. It's actually pretty comfortable and I do just like the white of it and I like the low topness of it because you know it's coming spring and summer. These are going to be really good shoes for spring and summer if we can go outside again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I said it. If we can go outside again, I definitely recommend those. Uh, next up on this list I'm going to do music because of course I've been inside the house all this time so I've been listening to music and I've been listening to, listening to podcasts so music that I've been like shoving my head into in black in black is an old k-pop band and they I don't think they're they're not active any longer but their old music is so good and they just got added on Spotify so I was on a all day binge and I don't actually use Spotify I use Apple Music because my family uses Apple Music so we have the Apple Music family plan so I don't have to use Spotify which I'm so happy about but it's on Spotify so I just shuffled through all of in black music and just get wild or whatever <laughs> I really enjoyed it. it makes it makes me really happy I find it's like so much fun um then podcasts I actually do listen to pretty basic I sound like a basic bitch but I absolutely adore Remy Ashton and the Asian Girl Squad and I sound so basic because I am I've known this for so long I am a basic bitch that's okay um, but <laughs> I listen to pretty basic it's so good I really enjoy listening to them talk <laughs> I'm so sorry but it is kind of just like a it was stuff that you would think a teenage girl would talk about like a younger age girl like even a girl in her early 20s would talk about you know partying drinking bad boyfriend problems and two girls that are really good business women they talk about a lot of business stuff it's actually really just really 10 out of 10 recommend you just go listen to pretty basic it's really enjoyable especially if you're like a female in your early female in your early 20s or like you know late teens really cool stuff for you <laughs> um as for youtubers Remy Ashton I watched a Remy Ashton in her vlog she just moved into a new house so she's vlogging almost every day which means I need to go watch the vlog after I finish filming this video um I watched Lord DIY uh like I said, I do enjoy Asian Girl Squad, and I also listen to watch uh, Kenny JD. She does this series every Saturday that's called Bad Movies of the Beat. Me and my mom both love it, and she literally watches a horrible movie, like an ideally horrible movie, and she just talks about how horrible it is, all the reasons why it is horrible, while putting on her makeup. Recently, she watched um, My Teacher, My Obsession shit movie <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that was pretty fucking bad um she's watched things like cats she's watched um a lot of stuff with Noah centipede in it I don't even know his c-e-n-t Ooh, I don't know his last name I just know his first name is Noah he looks generic and he's I don't like his face I don't he's not that cute I'm so sorry but he is not that cute everybody's falling head over heels for this dude he is not that cute um I've also been enjoying Stephanie Sue here on YouTube she does mukbang videos and she also has a vlog channel and I've been really into vlogs as of late because I'm at home and bored speaking of vlogs I am going to be posting a vlog probably next week so next Monday so I'm pretty excited about that too so I've begun my vlogging as well um, I don't think I have anything else to talk about. Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty done here. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I, have to, I don't think I have any more favorites other than like my bed and like my PJs, my comfy sweaters and shirts and, sh and such. But other than that, I will see you guys next time. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and a like. And I will see you guys next time, which will probably be Friday. Follow me on all my social media, which is Aesthetically Princess on Instagram. Princess dot underscore dot underscore blue for my art page. And finally on Twitter, I am D-A-N-N-E-B-B-U-G underscore D for Twitter. And I will see you guys next time. Everything will be linked down below. And bye!